Don't go to baseball tryouts until you watch this video. Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is all about baseball tryouts, all right? We're gonna go over, number one, the structure of a baseball tryout. That way, when you show up on your tryout date, you know exactly what to expect you're fully prepared. And number two, we're gonna discuss some of my best tryout tips so that you can be confident knowing that you have all the tools necessary uh, to succeed at your tryout. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so the very first thing I wanna to touch on is the typical structure of a baseball tryout. So when you walk into the tryout, you're ready to go, you know what to expect. So. 95% of tryouts or more, this is the way that they operate, okay? First of all, the very first thing you're gonna do once you arrive is you're gonna do a dynamic warm up as a group. So, everyone trying out, you guys are gonna be all led through the exact same dynamic warm up, really to just get nice and loose, get the blood flowing, break a sweat, all right? After that, typically you're gonna jump immediately into a 60 yard dash. And that's why I think it's so important to train for your 60 yard dash because that will immediately make you stand out uh, against all the rest of your competition there trying out, okay? If you can show that you're athletic, show that you got a little bit of speed. So uh, typically dynamic warm up, then 60 yard dash. After the 60 yard dash, usually then you're gonna play catch, all right? So just get your throwing arm nice and loose. Then it's time for position specific arm strength tests and they also look at your defense during that time. It's all kind of lumped together, all right? So what that means is catchers, you're gonna go behind home plate and you're gonna you know, make throws down to second. They're gonna watch your receiving skills. They might make you block a few balls. They're definitely gonna want you to throw down to second so they can get your pop time and really see your velocity behind your throws. Infielders, what you guys are gonna do is you guys are all typically gonna go to shortstop and they're gonna hit you ground balls and they're looking at you know how smooth you are as an infielder and your defensive skills and then of course they're clocking you throwing the baseball across the diamond to first base. Typically you're gonna get three to five ground balls depending on the amount of players at the tryout. All right, outfielders, you guys are typically gonna to go to right field and they're gonna hit you ground balls and fly balls and usually you're gonna make throws to third base. Again, they're clocking your velocity from the outfield with a pro hop or a pro step. And then during that time, pitchers, you are also going to be throwing bullpens. So they're gonna obviously look at your velocity and then look at you know what kind of stuff you have. So after you do defense and the arm strength stuff, then you're going to jump into batting practice typically and really show them what you got in terms of hitting. And then the last thing, it kind of depends on the tryout, the number of players there, how much time uh, you have at the tryout, but sometimes they'll mix in a scrimmage. Not all the time, but sometimes you will be scrimmaging. All right, so now that you know the typical structure of a tryout, now let's get into my tryout tips to really help you maximize your opportunities to make the team and have a great season, all right? So the very first tryout tip is to show up prepared, okay? And that means put in the work before you actually get to the tryout. Don't just wing it, all right? Before you, you, you find out, you know, once you find out your tryout date, before that date, you really should be working on, you know, number one, sharpening your baseball skills. So that means working on, you know, if you're a position player, you're hitting and your defensive skills and your arm strength and your speed, all that kind of stuff. And then you also should be in the weight room getting stronger and you should be working on, you know, your conditioning and, uh, you know, making sure you get your sprint work in, all that good stuff. But I love to compare it like you're taking a test in school. You know, you're obviously you know, you might have some jitters or whatever, but if you have put in hours and hours and hours of prep time and you know that you're ready for the exam, on test day, you're not gonna be that nervous. But if you show up on test day and you didn't look over the study guide and you have no idea how to do anything that's gonna be on the test, then yeah, you're gonna be nervous and for good reason. And it's the same with baseball tryouts. If you just show up and you haven't picked up a bat in three or four months and you plan on just winging it, heck, you might even make the team if you're just, you know, you have that raw talent or whatever. But if that's what you've been doing, I guarantee you're gonna be nervous at tryouts. So my number one tip, I know it sounds like common sense, but show up prepared. Put in the work before you actually step foot on the field at your tryout date. The next tip is show up early and get yourself physically and mentally prepared for the tryout. You know, you really want to prepare to play at peak performance, right? I can't stand when, you know, I see players roll in the gym or the field last second, you know, right before tryouts begin and they're already kind of flustered because they're running behind and they're quickly trying to get their shoes on and they're quickly, you know, trying to warm up on their own and stretch and they're talking to their buddies and this and that. That's just not a good way to arrive at your tryout. You 
want to show up early and the common you know the most common thing is to get physically ready right obviously you guys are going to do a dynamic warm-up but whatever you have to do to get yourself you know your body whatever you have to do to get yourself physically ready to perform at your peak because remember you got this 60 coming up you got all these evaluations coming up you want to be at your peak all right so you know that's that's common sense to get your physical body ready but how about mentally you know again are you talking to your buddies and screwing around or are you mentally locking in are you you know visual visualizing uh, positive success are you visualizing okay when that ground ball gets hit to me right left footwork I'm gonna f field it nice and cleanly I'm gonna funnel it into my body make a good strong throw to first base uh, hitting I'm gonna stay visualize I'm gonna stay right in the middle of the field I'm gonna square the ball up I'm gonna hit a lot of line drives all right so show up early in order to get yourself both physically and mentally prepared the next tip, and I can't stress this enough, dress like a ball player. There's nothing that makes you stand out, but in a negative way, more so than really not looking the part, all right? So what I mean by this is everyone at tryouts is gonna be wearing, obviously, a baseball cap. They're all gonna probably be wearing different shirts, right? But most of them are gonna be wearing baseball pants and cleats and belts and all that good stuff. And a great way to stand out, again, in a negative way is to show up wearing you know, skateboarding shoes or show up without a baseball hat on or without baseball pants on. On. show up wearing you know regular shorts and uh, tennis shoes instead of cleats or I've even seen some kids show up to tryouts wearing jeans guys that's not gonna cut it if you want the part just like if you were showing up for a job interview right you wouldn't show up wearing a, a tank top would you No, you would dress the part at a job interview when you're trying to earn that job so why would you not do the same thing at your baseball tryout so dress like a ball player my next tip is to bounce around and hustle everywhere. I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times, but hustling requires no skill, right? You can out hustle anybody on that field at that particular tryout day, and I encourage you to do so, all right? I know that some guys might say, oh, look at that try hard over there or whatever, but I would rather be known as the guy who always lays it on the line and gives 100% when I'm in between the white lines than the guy who dogs it, right? And so if you really wanna stand out to the coaches, bounce around, hustle everywhere. And that's not to say, I mean, obviously you hustle over to a ground ball or you hustle to a ball in the gap in the outfield or you hustle on and off the field. But what about just in between drills? What about when the coach says, you know, go get some water? Are you walking over there? Are you walking on and off the field showing like, you know, you're good enough or you don't really care or are you bounce around like you got something to prove and you've got something to earn? So bounce around, hustle, it's gonna make you stand out. Another great tryout tip is do everything hard. And that means run hard, that means swing hard, that means throw hard, all right? Because the reason you wanna do everything hard is because the finer details of the game, they can be coached, they can be taught to you, right? If let's say you whip the ball from shortstop 90 miles an hour over to first base, but your throws aren't really that accurate. Maybe you're always missing high or always missing low or you're, heck, you're throwing it over the dugout we can correct those finer things. I mean, all that is is pretty much release point, right? We can correct that, but it's really tough to take a player that throws 65 miles an hour and turn him into a, a high velocity thrower who's throwing 90 miles an hour, right? Same thing with hitting. Uh, you know, if, if you maybe have a bad, something going on in your mechanics that causes you to consistently hit fly balls or you know top spin line drives or whatever the case may be if you have a flaw in your swing but you swing hard you square the ball up and you hit it hard we can correct those those finer details but we can't correct you know if you're just you have zero aggression when you swing you, you have zero bat speed you have not even aggressive mindset it's just like you're you know you're swinging a wet noodle up there then that's really really hard to coach so do everything hard run hard swing hard throw hard you want to be under control don't be swinging out of your shoes but go hard in everything you do at your tryout moving on how about body language how about having a good attitude these are two areas that again you can control just like hustling you can show good body language you can have a great attitude on the field what do I mean by body language well I mean showing that you want to be there showing that you want to make the team showing that you care that you're a coachable player right nothing says bad body language and I don't care like standing here like this you know my arms crossed while coach is talking to me and maybe not even making eye contact looking down or you know maybe me and my buddy 
in the back of the group kind of chit-chatting instead of locking eyes and focusing. So I, I'm telling you, a lot of the times people think that this stuff doesn't matter, but your body language, what you do speaks so loudly that I can't even hear what's coming out of your mouth. Does that make some sense? So what you're doing, your physical, just the way you carry yourself on the field says so much about who you are and the type of person you are and the type of player you are and how you're gonna be in terms of the coaches looking at you like, can I coach that guy? He can tell pretty much everything he needs to know by the way that you hustle and bounce around and your body language, your eye contact, all that kind of stuff. So body language, good attitude, they both go hand in hand and it's something you can control so you should. That leads me directly into my next point, focus. All right, too many times, especially at tryouts, I see players again, like we just talked about. They're in the back and they're chit-chatting with their friends, talking about the latest gossip or drama that's going on in school. Guys, focus, focus, it's two hours long. Your tryouts are gonna be like an hour and a half, two hours probably max, maybe two and a half, depending on how many people are there. But focus, it's not that hard to just focus your energy for two hours. So save the conversations, save the side talk. I don't care if you know two guys are hitting, maybe one's hitting, one's throwing soft toss to him. That still doesn't give you permission with the other guys to just be completely screwing around and not be focused. So focus on, uh, you know, really standing out on the field show, focus on you know showing the coaches what you got focus on you know doing the little extra things so being the first one to go pick up the balls all that kind of stuff that doesn't happen by accident that doesn't happen when you're screwing around talking to your buddies that happens when you're focusing when you're figuring out how can I provide value to the team so lock in for two hours and focus so I hope at this point you can see how all of these really tie together now let's jump into the next point which is show good leadership and specifically lead from the front. And what I mean by that is don't be a vocal leader that just, you know, yells at everybody else, but you're not actually doing what you're telling them to do, all right? Nobody likes a leader like that. What I mean by leading from the front is let's say coach is out of balls and he says balls, meaning go pick up the baseballs. Well, instead of just telling everybody, hey, come on guys, let's go pick up the balls. Instead of doing that, that's better than not showing any leadership at all. But instead of doing that, what's better is you being the first one into the batting cage and start picking up balls and then if it you know nobody's helping you out then say hey come on guys let's go hustle in here let's pick up these baseballs but lead from the front basically lead by example i promise you this characteristic alone is going to make you stand out in such a positive way on the field the coach is going to look at you and say look at that guy that guy's a leader he can help lead this team that's exactly what you want and the very last tip i have for you in today's video is breathe relax and trust yourself, especially if you've put in the work before the tryout, which hopefully you know you have, hopefully you're not trying out today and you're just planning on showing up and winging it. But if, if you've put in the work, then you know, you've know you done more than pretty much everybody else on the field to prepare yourself. So use that to your advantage. Think about that. Think about, yeah, he was playing a different sport. He wasn't getting ready or he was at home playing video games. He was playing Fortnite all day. He wasn't getting ready for the, the tryout. So use all of that to your advantage, show up, Take deep breaths because nothing happens when you have that shallow breathing, your hands get clammy, your heart starts beating faster, nothing good happens from that. So slow your breathing down, relax, and trust the work that you've put in to get you to this point. And really just leave it all on the field and let the chips fall where they may. So that's all I got for you in today's video. I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then subscribe to our channel because we're coming out with new baseball videos every single week. And I don't want you to miss any of them, especially during the season. They're gonna help you make the adjustments you need to make and really just have so much more success, so much more confidence, and so much more fun on the field. So if you like this style of video and you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you next time.